Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm playing some Fallout. Now, I'm doing something a little different from now on. Today I'm going to be playing uh, Fallout, of course, and, but what I'm going to be doing is uh, doing some retro throwback kind of games. Uh, Steam summer sales going on, as you all know. So I'm going to start out with Fallout. I have Fallout 2. I have Fallout Tactics. Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. So what I'm going to try and do is do the full campaign, just the basic going through it, and see how far I can get on it. Now, these games are a little older, and or a lot older, and kind of hard to play. So, please bear with me, uh, and I'll have some news towards the center here. Uh, first, I'm going to play the intro for you guys, so you can see that. So enjoy, I'll be quiet. changes. The Romans waged war to gather slaves and wealth. Spain built an empire from its lust for gold and territory. Hitler shaped a battered Germany into an economic superpower. But war never changes. In the 21st century, war was still waged over the resources that could be acquired. Only this time, the spoils of war were also its weapons. Petroleum and uranium. For these resources, China would invade Alaska, the U.S. would annex Canada, and the European Commonwealth would dissolve into quarreling, bickering nation-states bent on controlling the last remaining resources on Earth. In 2077, the storm of World War had come again. In two brief hours, most of the planet was reduced to cinders. And from the ashes of nuclear devastation, a new civilization would struggle to arise. A few were able to reach the relative safety of the large underground vaults. Your family was part of that group that entered Vault 13. Imprisoned safely behind the large vault door under a mountain of stone, a generation has lived without knowledge of the outside world. Life in the vault is about to change. Alright, that was pretty cool. I love the intros for all of Fallout. And for those of you who have played Fallout 3 and New Vegas, there was a lot of kind of hints towards that. Like, I don't know if you saw the GNR, the Galaxy News Radio thing there. And, uh, of course the Iconic Vault. And the Iconic War never changes. So let's go ahead and do a new game here. So I can go around and click on all these different characters. I like him. Well, I'll create a new character, I guess. Whew. This is a lot more complicated than before. So, I guess my name? Braxton. I'll just leave it at Braxton. 
Age, 25. Male. I'll take that down. I'll keep her about the same. 18. What's up? Okay, so I think if we go down, strength, perception, endurance, charisma, agility gives me action points. I've played a bit of this, so I kind of know what I want. I'm going to put there, that there. Uh, let's see. There, charisma, there. Okay, and then we're going to go with fast shot. You don't have time to aim for targeted attacks because you attack faster than normal people. It costs you one last action point to use a weapon. That's pretty good. Finesse, you attack to show a lot of finesse. You don't do as much damage, but you cause more critical hits. One-hander, one of your hands is very dominant. You excel with single-handed weapons, but two-handed weapons cause problem. Alright, I want that. Okay, yeah. Small frame, you're not quite as big as the other vault dwellers, but that never slowed you down. You can't carry as much, but you are more agile. Fast metabolism. Body heals faster. You already have two of them. Oh, I can only have two traits. Okay. So as you can see, my hit points are 30 out of 30. Armor class is 8. Action points, I get 9. You can carry 150. Melee damage, 1. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I want to probably do... Gives me all the percentiles here. Small guns? Heck yeah, to 63. Unarmed. Why is my unarmed so high? What? Oh, because of agility? Ooh. The bruiser. Unarmed 92? Yeah. What you do? Your total action points are lowered, but your strength is increased. Oh, but... Ugh. does raise that, but I don't know. The good thing is that everyone around you has more critical failures in combat. But that thing is so do you. Good natured, Kim reliant, resistant, night person skilled. Eh, I'll go with bruiser, I guess. I don't need that, then. Mainly damage, we'll just shoot that through the roof. Then we'll do uh, speech. Or bar barter, I guess. Is there anything else that's kind of high? Other than that, uh, sneak, I guess. Agility. I'll keep that up. Okay. Done. Let's let this guy talk. You're here. Good. We've got a problem. Turn it up a little bit here. Controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one, and the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water. Ignore the clock. Vault. <laughs> this is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay? Cool. Oh, now we have another little animation here. Where I think we get to leave the vault. There we go. This is pretty cool. I love how... I love that it's old. <laughs> the old feel of it looks really cool. The vault opening. Always a great... Great beginning to a game. Nope. I clicked a button. My bad. So, I'm in the world. Can I go back in? No. You see door entry computer. Use that! To use the door computer, the computer does not recognize your access code. Huh. Let's go to this guy. Click. So, I can pick up ammo. So, I'll click those over 
in there. Did I get him? Yep. And then I'll pick up this knife. Done. So... I don't think... I have unarmed. I think that means I can use those. And I know that, uh... I can, I'll show you here in a second. You can walk anywhere you want to begin with, but as soon as combat initiates, so when an enemy is near, I base it becomes a turn-based game, so it, I don't know if you can see, but I have three points not activated. And I can right-click to switch and hit him. And I killed him. Whoa. I think that should end my combat, yeah. And then I can walk freely again. But any time an enemy is nearby, I can no longer... Uh, swing or I can no longer uh, walk freely I have to use my action points when I have I have eight oh swing Ooh. I'm really glad I got that uh uh B B B B I'm really glad I got all those uh bonuses combat so I'm not gonna initiate now it is. Attack! Watch I missed. Watch I got him that time. In combat, let's move. I think there's a rat right over here, though. Oh, oh. So it's just super dark this way? You can't really tell. Did I get him or didn't kill him? Swing again. I need three action points. Alright. Swing again. I missed. Swing again. There we go. Can I scavenge him? I can. He doesn't have anything. That's good news. I, well, or, you know, well, it's not good news that he didn't have anything. But it's nice to know I can scavenge things. I didn't know that. Keep walking, boy. Go all the way out of the cave here. I know the first thing I can do is if you get to this little faded area here, uh, you can get to the world map. So fast travel, basically. And then I have... There's not a whole lot of locations. <laughs> but I can click on Volt 15, and I'll start walking towards it. And as you can see, you can see the time, the date, uh, the month, and the day. I'm gonna stop here actually. And click in. Welcome to Shady Sand, stranger. Please holster that weapon while you are here. No, don't combat. There we go. Now I can walk in. And I can actually talk to people. So, if I click to this little arrow here, I can click on people. Welcome to Shady Sands, traveler. My name is Katrina. My job is to greet strangers and help them understand our village. We find that there are fewer problems if you listen to what I have to say. Tell me about yourself. My life was very boring. I was raised in a vault. I lived there for many years. Unfortunately, we were crowded and life was very bad. There was a schism. Uh, well, I was reading. Tried to stay in the vault, but then we were attacked. I was hurt and I ended up here. Now I try to help people. I'm less of it interested now uh where was that vault of yours it was vault 15 it was due east of here we tried to make contact with some other vaults but it was always failed what should i do if i get hurt where can i get some better equipment you'll have to do like we do scavenge it or trade for it and we have and if you are attacked your foes might provide equipment if you live long enough to loot them we are a peaceful community so we mo that uh, balls to you tell me about oh vault 15 what? Vault 15. Vault underscore 15? Sorry, no clue. Can't. You're just useless. Get hurt. Tell me about the rest of it. That's all for now. Thanks. Useless. 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 Okay, let's try that again. I'm looking for water. Ah! In fact, yes, my old home I had one. I haven't been there since I was hurt but you might find what you're looking for there someone said that they tried to go to the vault to have a look around we're gonna help you better prepared tell me about vault dash 15 well you're just useless cancel